Welcome to Balodaya High School Water System Tutorial. Today, we'll be showing you the system and how it works. First, you walk into this prison and you'll see this nice big tank. This is called the pressure brake tank. So, in here, we have two inlets. So, the green one is the original source. And the white one is one that we installed. You can see we drilled through the tank. They both come from the same source, we think. Um, yeah, the float valve basically stops them from flowing in the water gets too high. This is overflow. This is the strainer for the community. And that's the strainer for the school. School has priority because it's lower. And uh, the strainers basically prevent a bunch of junk from getting in there. Although there is a leaf stuck in the strainer right now. So, moving on, you see our inlet and outlet valves going into the tank. So, starting from your far left, you have the 32mm inlet that was originally going into the tank. Then, next to that, you have the outlet to the school with a shutoff valve. We replaced that from a 25mm to a 32mm, so we have more water coming out to support our new tap stand. The next big one here is going to be your drainage pipe. And so, this valve here allows you to easily drain the tank down the 63 mm HDPE pipe to an energy dissipation system. This will make it easier to clean out the tank and make repairs. This next pipe, um, second from the right, is going to be your community pipe. And so this valve says how much water is flowing to the community reservoir tank that is that direction somewhat. And then this tank, this pipe that flows into our drainage pipe is the overflow. So this uh, big pipe here, is the one that connects to the drainage and overflow and the rest are, yeah, it's, it's, they're up there. So this is the drainage and overflow where that goes. This is the 63mm 4kg pipe. And this rock system we have going is for the energy dissipation. So when the water comes out of the drainage and overflow, it won't erode away all the soil. Just some of it. Oh. <laughs> I zoomed in way too much on your face. Uh, <laughs> so this is box A. Um, this is that 32 inlet from the school. Um, outlet from the tank and then this is a 20 that goes down to the school. Isn't that 25? Yeah, you're right, that's 25. And then this T here, we installed that for another NGO called CDF that that big that ugly, nice, beautiful big yellow tank down Big there. ugly tank right there on that <laughs> structurally stable st uh, good idea, stand. Good idea tank down there. So we put a ball valve on that, that's the red. Um, and yeah, even when that's turned on, we still get good flow at the taps, so they didn't mess it up too bad. Yep, and that's the reducer. That dog's part of the system, we installed that. Box B. And this here is home to a beautiful three quarter inch GI union. It is used to replace a rather creative solution before, in which a 20 mm was shoved in a 25 mm wrapped with a nice biscuit wrapper. So here we have GI union, pipe tape, and protect it from the elements with concrete. And essentially, we connected an existing. 25 mm to a new 25 mm that we installed. <laughs> box C. So box C is the final valve box. You can see we split it. One line goes to the existing tap. <laughs> you can one... see. What? One line goes to the existing tap. One line goes to the new tap we built. One on the left goes to the existing. One on the right goes to the new. Pretty standard stuff. Just some valves propped up on rocks precariously. We have a lid for this too. Two lids. Oh yeah. Alright, 
we added that grate to the system. Hopefully keeps any gunk or shoes or anything else kids might throw down from getting into our drainage system. So this is the existing cap stand. The yes, inlet, sir. the inlet, if you must know, is on the left side. Don't go try to moving any rocks to find the inlet. You might cut your finger. <clears throat> And here it is, the beautiful new tap stand. That's the drainage basin. These are the tall taps, tall faucets. And this side has the shorter ones. Yeah, we kept, uh, we kept two of them capped because we weren't sure we would have enough flow. But from test today, I think we might, but we didn't purchase materials for it for those two, so they're stand capped until, I don't know, until someone buys the things that they need. Winter team. Winter team. Mm. Or the school could do it, probably. So the drain goes from here. You can see the pipe in there, maybe, mostly. It's somewhere in there. Um, and it kind of goes here. And the other drain is exposed a little bit right over there. So they meet, they meet at a T like... But they don't actually, they have, there's two, oh, two, yeah, there's yeah. two parallel lines. Two. Socket and an elbow here. So the drains are independent. But then Pipes. they run parallel to the oh. edge of the cliff down there. And they replace this very highly effective drainage system that runs along the foundation. And here's the end of the drain pipes, which goes down there. Well, that's it. That's, that's the all system. all, folks. <laughs> Let's uh, let's maintain this well, and whoever sees this video, you're the future. <laughs> all, one day all this will be yours. Everything the light touches <laughs> is yours. Uh, summer 2018 travel team, out. <laughs>